Karulak was lost and found in a border town. Asked about a diamond ring. When she looking at you like you lost your mind, you say that you hadn't seen a thing. But I know she's been here lately. I can still smell her perfume. When she gets crazy on a full moon. Hey, hey guys. Welcome to another edition of Fireside Chat. Formerly Cold Case Car. Welcome. You made it. I got the white sage burning here. Got a beautiful fire for you in the, in the fireplace. Dogs are outside playing. It's warm and spring-like outside, so the snow is melting and revealing all the poor critters that froze to death over these frit during the polar vortex already this year. So they're out hunting and scavenging and all that so i like to leave them outside say so smells amazing getting rid of all these all the negative juju around here <clears throat> so uh welcome everyone uh to the new channel and this is a feng shui moment i decided uh, my channel needed a whole revamp uh from the bottom up and um the re there's reasons for this um, as you know, and if you, if you're been a member, member of this channel for a little while, we were a search team and that's what we were in the beginning. And we went hard at it and Kaga was my main search dog. And as you know, if you, you can go back to the videos, but Kaga recently passed away and we, she's buried just over here. And, uh, guys, since she's buried, she, since she's been dead and gone, I can't really call myself a search team, a canine search team anymore. She was the brains of the situation. Me and her were on a te telepathic level. We were on a whole nother level, me and that dog. Uh, man, I still I still get upset thinking about her leaving. Uh, she was the best animal I ever owned. Not to say my other dogs aren't good. They're decent. But they, are, they don't have half the nose that Kaga had. She was a beagle. And she was a... Uh, she was. A, she had an excellent nose on her, and she was just the best dog ever. And we, like I said, we were on a whole nother level telepathically. Uh, she knew when we went out in the woods. She knew what I was thinking and what we were going after and, and what the end goal was. She goes, "Oh, you know, we're out here searching for somebody. Uh, that's what I need to do to help my dad." She was the best dog ever. So I can't necessarily call myself a search team anymore. I thought about. You know, I've been working with uh, Zuma and Nipsey, but <clears throat> Zuma's got a decent nose. But guys, Zuma's 12 years old, too. She's getting up there, and she's got this thing where she clicks her jaws and kind of passes out and falls down. I don't know what it is. I think it's the brain something or seizure or something. I don't know, but she's got something going on. So <clears throat> we're going to kind of pump the brakes on the whole canine search team. We're still going to be doing searches always, guys. Well, that's what we're going to. Like 50% searches. Um, I always want to be looking for missing people and trying to bring closure to families. Um, <clears throat> so Cold Case Cause was a the name of my has been the name of my channel for the last couple of years I've been doing this. And it was back in a time when I was training with Adventures with Purpose. And um, I was talking with this girl and she's the one that kind of came up with Cold Case Cause. Uh, so it has a lot of negative energy and a lot of bad juju that came along with that. So I think it's time to totally start fresh. Um, I feel like, you know, the definition of what's the definition of insanity, guys? The definition of in insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result. Well, that's kind of what's happened here with cold case causes. I've been working so hard for three years at this and then to get to put out videos and get 20 views, you know, after doing this for three years, it's just, <laughs> it's, 
insanity. <laughs> uh, it's got me on the brink, you know, it's like, <sighs> I've been doing this for so long. And then to, to be able to, to put a video out years later and to get 20 views because of whatever reason. So let me just explain to you something that happened just recently. So I went to put, to upload that last video, um, that Don Henley video, uh, burning for you. And, uh, it was the sunrise video, the re recently one I just put out and, uh, it was the most beautiful video. Well, I went to upload the I'm burning for you song with it. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. I love that song. It's got an amazing intro. Well, they sped up the song and then they hit me with a copyright strike for a song that I got from the YouTube library, from their own library. So I got a YouTube uh, a copyright strike uh, and then from their own library. This, so this is their own music they put out. They gave me a copyright strike on something I picked on YouTube, which is super strange. So I deleted it and re-uploaded it. And in doing so, I kind of wanted to poke fun back a little. I put viral sunrise just to see what would happen. Well, guys, I got 20, like 20 views on that, man. And that was the most beautiful freaking purple and orange sunrise. It was coming up, man. It was, I mean, the clouds were all flaking and colorful. I mean, it was like something out of a Van Gogh painting or something. It was the most beautiful sunrise. And I want y'all to know, these that, that, this damn cell phone camera doesn't do it any justice. I, I need to get a proper zoom in long lens camera, you know, that the guys use. <clears throat> That's uh, on the plate anyway. So, but, and in doing so, they hit me with like... Uh, so suddenly I lost a couple hundred subscribers overnight. And then um, now when I put out videos, I swear I only get 20 views. And I think it's because I've changed my niche into this survival log cabin thing. I, I'm moving away from the cold case cause. <clears throat> and let me tell you guys, like the cold case cause of searching for missing people is always dealing with death and um you know, missing persons and sad families and negative energy and uh, corpses and searching for dead bodies. And when you do that nonstop, like I say, guys, you get in this life what you put out. So if I'm always putting out, if I'm always working with this dark, negative, dark, negative energy all the time, searching for missing persons and sadness and and death and murder and, and just like horrible things, you know, that stuff comes back, that negative energy comes back around. And that's kind of why I burn <clears throat> this white sage. Guys, I've been having crazy nightmares. I had a demon visit, a purple demon visit me in a dream. And I was like paralyzed, sleep paralysis. And this demon came in the room and turned a chair around and sat on it and stared at me. And I was frozen in my bed and I couldn't do anything. It was the craziest thing, man. So <clears throat> I think I'm inviting these demons and that demonic energy into my life with always you know doing videos like the head in the hands video i just did so this is an effort to lighten up this channel guys uh to make it more to less gruesome and less dark energy more bright energy and that's where the survival and this uh fireside chats and you know this is uh, the happy part that i wanted to be 50 percent of the channel and then the other 50 percent is going to be searching so <clears throat> this is an off, this is going to be my off grid cabin life survival niche. And we're going to be searching for people who haven't survived. So it's got, it's all kind of intertwined to this off grid survival uh, niche that, <clears throat> and also search. So that's the niche moving forward. A wall without a cause. What's that? Uh, what is this new name we have and what does it mean? So AWOL in the military and, uh, you know, police organizations and stuff like that, uh, AWOL stands for absent without leave. And I think that's a great description of me being, you know, it goes along with the living off grid and the survival segments that I want to start with. So this is the feng shui and the, we're oh, start turning over a new leaf here, uh, you know, and... <clears throat> It's just hard always doing searches and being having to be able to come up with the funding for the searches and all that. But um, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna work this out. We're gonna work this thing out. I'd really like to take this log cabin living to the next level. 
So AWOL without a cause. Um, it kind of has a it kind of it's kind of a play on words like with rebel without a cause because I kind of consider myself you know off grid rebel without a cause, you know sticking it to Uncle Sam type deal. Uh, AWOL, absent without leave, without a cause. It's kind of a play on words. So I thought it would be good to try to get new subscribers. Uh, that cold case cause just reminded me of like the old cold cold case files of like the, that old 80s show. And it just seemed dingy and not really who I am. <clears throat> and I think this new name kind of describes better who I am. And it's kind of like, you know, off grid, rebel without a cause. Uh, uh, absent without leave, you know, we're out here off grid living and, uh, we're surviving, scratching and surviving. That's what we're doing right now. And I kind of, I think it's kind of funny because, you know, with like the trolls, I'm letting them eat cake because a wall kind of sounds like a hole. So this is for you trolls too. I'm going to let you eat cake with this. So I'm handing you a beach ball so you can take it and run with it. So go ahead, give it to me. I'm ready. So I get the a wall and a hole. It's kind of the same sounding word. So that's pretty funny. I get it. So I, that's kind of I wanted this to kind of be like a funny, you know, we're we're bringing the energy back here and kind of lightening up the mood in this channel and um, with this new feng shui energy we got popping off here. <clears throat> so I'm taking the power away from the trolls. That's what we're doing. <laughs> So, like I said, we got the upgrade off cabin life special coming. Um, and I wanted to say I've been working on this in the off time. And this is Raven on a Fence Post with the Sunrise. And I've just started this, so I, I like to do a oil base. And this is just kind of like the rough base outline of the painting. I'm going to come in with acrylic and do the fine tuning with like on the eyes and all the, the detail work we're, we're going to do with acrylic paints. And I know that the sun kind of looks like a fried egg right now, but I'm really going to bring the detail out more with the acrylics. You can really do a lot more fine tuning. I've learned that oil is tough to paint with. And to all the painters of the past who used to paint with oil, like my hat's off to those guys because... Oil is a tough paint. It takes forever to dry and it smears and it's weird. But uh, we're going to finish this up with acrylic. And this is kind of like the sunrise. And this is the darkness from the sun over here. I'm going to kind of blend this gray in more. But Raven on a fence post. So this has kind of been the project in my spare time. Y'all know I've been working at this farm still. And... It's uh, been real nice. You know, there's all animals there, chickens and turkeys and all that. And uh, it's been it's been fun. I work there three days a week. You know, it's not like a full, full-time job. But uh, it's been helping get by with the bills, and it's helping fund this next search coming up. We're still planning on heading down to the Chelsea Grimm thing. <clears throat> I kind of wanted to let the Chelsea Grimm situation be on the back burner a little bit because uh, – you know, their search teams over there right now still going hard for them. And we like to come in after all the searchers are exhausted and everyone's tried it. You know, we come in with fresh eyes and a fresh brain uh, with the whole situation. I don't look at the old search maps or anything. We come there and see where the energy and where the creator takes us. Kind of like with the revolver we found in the Suzanne Morphew thing. That was a, like revealed to us by the creator. Uh, that gun was shining like a light in, <laughs> uh, you know, it was like a beacon in the night. That gun was shining. It hit me like a lightning bolt when I saw that gun. So it was like it, it was revealed to us by the creator. So that's what we got going on. We're totally revamping the channel. We got a new name, new description, new vibe. Uh, we're, we're going big with this. I'm not giving up. You hear that YouTube algorithm? We're not giving up. And uh, we're all good vibes here, good energy. Uh, we don't do politics here. We stop all politics at the door. Uh, I'm not a politics person. We're not one way or the other. I just, I'm done with it all. I think it's all made to separate us and, and divide us and make us always warm with, with each other so we can't focus on what the main issue is and who the main players are in the game. 
Um, I think pro football and pro basketball and all that is made to pit us against each other. Politics is an evil game that pits us against brother against brother. And uh, it's about to leave the crazy things I don't pay attention to anymore. And I invite you to do the same. If you block things like this out of your mind and your existence, it's a lot less stress in your life, guys. Um, so, given that, we got the painting <clears throat> coming up soon. This Friday, stay tuned, 5 p.m. on Friday, I'm going to come live. And it's going to be a, a survival segment. And I think I'm going to do starting a fire with sticks. So I'm going to show you how to take two soft sticks and rub them together and make fire from it. Uh, the most uh, primal thing in a human's existence is making fire from sticks. And if you can do this in the backcountry, it can really save your life. If you know what to look for and the right sticks to use. So we're going to go over all that this Friday. So stay tuned. Um, that's going to be a fun segment. Uh, hopefully we're going to have some good weather. It's going to, it might be nasty weather. So uh, we'll have to see. we got a big storm rolling. And we've had this beautiful sun lately. Uh, but of course, Mother Nature. February is usually our biggest snow, year, uh, snow month here, here in Colorado. So I'm not looking forward. There's a big storm about to hit Hammer, y'all. And it's going to get cold after that, real cold again. So today's the last sunny day. So I'm really soaking it up today and enjoying it. And um, so that to that, that is that. And so I wanted to, let's talk about the case real quick out of Kansas City. The three young men that were found dead in the backyard. And it's a super weird case about friends. So they watched the Kansas City football game. And then after the football game, supposedly they were watching Jeopardy. And one a friend had left. And then, long story short, 48 hours later, there's three dead men in the backyard of this Kansas City house. With one guy who owned the house who was sleeping in... Uh, claims that he had no idea uh he woke up after one of the fiancés had broken into the house um he comes stumbling out with a wine glass um so what has happened with this case and if you know about this case please chime in in the comments but i have a theory about this uh it's been going around a lot lately and i hate to say it but ding 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 drugs right uh i think it's drug related I think possibly football game, you know, a lot of guys like to get a little bag of Coke, cocaine uh, for football. You know, they were up late watching Jeopardy and that just threw me off like them watching Jeopardy. Like, well, what, what would make three, you know, Jeopardy's not even a show that's on the air anymore, is it? I don't think so. I think so. They would have to be watching reruns of Jeopardy. And that just sounds like something like people on Coke would do, like a cocaine tweaker thing to do is to watch old reruns of Jeopardy after a football game. You know, especially if you're team one and you're all stoked and jacked up, you know. So my theory is they might have, you know, had a little connect and got a little bag of cocaine trying to, you know, a lot of times people, they drink too much and then they pass out and they can't stay up late and watch the game late and party with the guys and all that. So they, hey, let's get a little bag of Coke. They get a little gram of Coke. And I think the gram, the cocaine might have been uh, cut with fentanyl. Um, the reason I say this is I know I have a, close friend of mine who had a brother who was at a concert and bought a bag of cocaine after the concert same thing guys he ended up passing away in a hotel room and his girlfriend woke up by the cleaning people and the hotel people came in and shook her awake and she had been sleeping for 24 hours and uh he had passed away sitting up sounds just like this and uh, they were they thought that they bought cocaine, but it was laced with fentanyl, guys. And that's been just, uh, it's a killer. And even the cocaine, you, know, you think a cocaine is an upper. How could there be fentanyl in this stuff? But, guys, they're even saying fentanyl's in the weed coming from Mexico. You know, it's Chinese fentanyl. It's killing, it's ruining our society. Uh, this, it was a, this great young kid had his life cut short by fentanyl laced in the cocaine. And who would think, you know... Uh, there, there's been stories all around about fraternities, people ODing in fraternities, multiple people 
because they bought Coke and it was laced with the fentanyl. So I think that that's what's happened in the situation. They probably, you know, I don't know, allegedly, again, you know, did a big one, you know, chopped out a big line and did that. And it had the fit on. It was enough to make them all. And the guy that was owned the house that woke up days later, he possibly he could have been under the strong effects of the fentanyl and not been out of it, you know, and then slowly woke up to the lady coming in and breaking in the house and all that. So I don't know. The only weird thing about it that catches me with the case is there were dogs there. If someone please confirm or deny if there were two dogs, I heard, and they would have had to been let in and out. And you mean to tell me that the dogs were let out of the house while there's three day guys in the backyard and the dogs were out there sniffing around, you know, like horror. That's like stuff horror movies are made out of. Uh, weird circumstances. And then the guy's a, a, supposedly a scientist and everyone's thinking, oh, maybe he, you know, poisoned them somehow or something. And they're like, there's a whole darker thing going on. Um, the only other weird thing, too, besides the dogs, is um, he is moving out all of a sudden. All of a sudden, he's packing his stuff up and seeing hauling ass out of town. And that usually means somebody's guilty when that happens uh, about something. But it's still up in the air. We're going to wait to see the toxicology results on the three poor dead souls that were found. You know, they were all close friends, and I've seen their poor families have just been tore up. And Miss Sweetie Pilo, hey there, sweetheart. Uh, she did a great segment on it. Um, and I, just an alleged theory, guys. I just got the vibes that it's a fentanyl related. Um, so, you know, and guys, I mean, don't hate on people. You know, they do a little cocaine every once in a while, you know, in the party mode. You know, people in the party mode way back in the day, you know, that stuff was going around hard and it still is. But you got to be careful these days, guys. Everything could be laced with that fentanyl. Any drug, from the weed to the to the opiates to now the co the uppers even got fentanyl in it. So please warn anyone that's, you know, thinking about going out and partying. You know, a lot of times people on their birthdays or special occasions will get a little bag of coke. Like you can't, you got to be careful. You got to get the fentanyl test strips. And I actually, in my paramedic bug out kit that I carry, I actually have fentanyl test strips. So, and I, if you're into any type of partying or festivals or anything, I recommend you carry that around because you could save somebody's life just by giving it to them and having, and then they could test their own stuff. You know, whatever you're into, you know, I don't judge. So, um, so yeah, given that, so um, that's the theory on that. And uh, blessings to the poor family members that are going through the hell because they all they look like a fun group of guys those guys from kansas city you know their team had just won the football game i think you know i don't keep up with football because I, again guys i think nfl football is here to divide us and make us vent our anger frustrations about society and the government and inflation vent that through a football game and whether we're fighting in the parking lot yell hoo, 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 in the stands go team you know people are die hard and they focus their life on that it's like look over here don't look over here you know that's what i think professional sports are oh so but i hope you're having a great week this week thanks for swinging by um please hit that like and subscribe and hit that turn on that notification bell so when i come live um uh, I mean, when I post these segments and come live, you'll be notified right away. <clears throat> We're going to try to be getting into the lives more, guys, as soon as I can get uh, find an area a little bit closer to town with better service where it won't glitch out. So that'll be fun, and we can interact on lives and um, do like a Patreon deal and all that. So that's in the works coming up. Hoping that this new name and new channel and new vision and everything is a new energy for this 2024 year and we can get some new younger subscribers so i've been you know viewing my analytics and uh got a lot of great middle age and upper age folks in there so i'm trying to expand a little bit to try to grab the, the younger crowd these younger millennials and all this so got to be hit with the youngsters you know so <laughs> that's what we're going for with the name it's kind of like a while without a cause we're uh you know, a whole new vibe with that. So I just wanted to thank you again. And I also wanted to remind you always, 
never forget the lucky seven P's of survival and backcountry. And that's perfect prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. And I challenge you to write that down and always remember that because if you can remember the lucky seven P's, you'll be successful in backcountry, when camping and hunting and life and just any type of any area of your life, both seven P's, always be properly prepared, perfectly properly prepared. And um, and given that, I suggest you all go AWOL. Uh, AWOL without a cause, absent without leave. Take time in your life to go AWOL. Go, just get out there. Get out into Mother Nature. Get out in the backcountry. Experience life outside of the city. Go AWOL. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Tell me what you think uh, about the new channel vibe and everything. Um, and I want, uh, one last thing, the AWOL thing is kind of, kind of, it's an inside joke to some other channels, and I'm going to leave it at that. So I'm kind of poking at some people, and that's to get back for some stuff. So, but uh, a lot of inside hidden meaning in AWOL without a cause. So, thanks again, guys. And um, about time to put another log on the fire. It's pretty warm out here, but. Look at this beautiful cedar wood. Look at that. Like that would make furniture, guys. I'm in here burning. It smells amazing. But I hope you're having a great middle of the week. And uh, have a blessed rest of your week, man.